was the night before Christmas, and all through our house. It's limited edition whiskey in a calendar brimming of mystery, imbibing and describing, like a preacher proselytizing, we're priests of a multi-spirit, secret knowledge we're gonna deliver it, sipping a golden liquid so divine you dare not miss it. Reputations are on the line, making a guess at what's inside, but the terms make it shine, so grab a dram, relax, unwind. We might have to write that one down. Alrighty then, um, with Dave's uh, stunning, stunning intro to that one, um, I will snap on the hat and look at what will be my final, my final yes. solo and a penultimate, penultimate whiskey. Mm. Roar! It's a 24th dram, sure to be another stunner. Ah. <clears throat> No, he thought he'd pre-loosened it, but mm. no, the box has... More manual labouring required. box has other things to say. Fight to the end. That's its motto. Yes, indeed. Oh, he's, he's taking... I glean from the response here. It's had to be read at least three times, so that means there's something, something a bit old going on. Yes, this is... Well, this is certainly going to be... An exercise in taste testing mastery. Mm, all right then. There's a lot to take in here. So, oh, so it's a lot of details. A lot of details. Good, yeah. good, 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 good. I good. shall uh, attempt to replicate them. Let's get some times. Three minutes to taste. <sighs> uh, uh, right. Mm, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Mm, oh, What's that telling that's you? That's a bit chocolatey, that's a bit minty, mm. but it's very, very fudgy. Um, Russian fudgy. I think it's happened again. Oh. I think we're. I'm not going to lock it in, but this is very grainy to me in a way that that other one that you got was super not. This mm. is. Oh, this yeah, is the a green whiskey I right. had was super orange. That was, um, yeah, that was weirdly fruity. That was almost like a, it was almost like a fake malt whisk. It's <laughs> almost like they tried to, they figured out how to make it out of grain. This one, hmm. assuming it is the grain, and I'm getting sure as I go, there's caramel fudge, just like a Snickers bar coming out of this glass. It is incredible, which is making me think it might be. More than a wee bit older grain than we had before, wow, which okay. is more the grain I'm used to. Right, I should actually, I should actually taste it. Ooh, that is a, mmm, that's a unique flavour. Oh, there is no way this isn't grain. <laughs> Coconut rough, um, more Russian fudge. It's just, I've lost it now. Yeah, oh. here we are. Um, confectionery in a glass. Mm -hmm. um, it's. Tasting maybe high 40s? I don't know. Uh, give me a bit of water, but not too, sure. not too much, because this is tasting mm. brilliant on its own. I'll add the correct amount of water for the strength of the whiskey. This is like a, I don't know, 48, 49, I think, strength-wise. It doesn't taste super strong compared to a lot of the other things that we've um, had here, but it's definitely single cask. It's definitely yep. stronger than a, a 43, definitely a 40. Oh, we're under just under two minutes, okay, so you've got right. plenty of time to fine-tune your guessing. Your time there's. See, this is where the this is the <sighs> the easy part is over now. Hmm. Um, guessing grain whiskey, uh, usually, usually we've proven it's not always. Um, that's simple, especially when it's so archetypical as this one. Guessing what grain whiskey? Um, yeah, that'd be I different. would have indeed. If, as, if I only I'd actually done homework on hmm. the grain whiskies. Um, distilleries, of which there are not many, so it wouldn't have been a difficult um, task to undertake. Alas, I, I did not. I know the names of a few. I have no idea how to tell them apart, or even if it's possible to tell them apart. Grain whiskey is such a, it's such a cask-driven animal by its sort of quite neutral nature. I mean, they call it neutral spirit for a reason. Mmm. Mm. So, a few seconds left. What right. are you thinking? Um, I'm going to say, because it's the only one I know that still produces whiskey, um, can I try a North British, which, yeah. um, and let me just make a complete, complete guess into the region. I think that's in the Lowlands, so we'll say single grain, Lowlands, We have North had a British. North British grain whiskey already yeah. in this calendar, you're going to stick with it? Have we? Yeah. 
Oh. That was the one I had. Okay. Yeah. Um, would it surprise you that I'm not confident <laughs> the names of any of the <laughs> other ones? I know there's, there's what is it? Cameron Brig Canvas? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, you're right. We've never repeated one. Hmm. Um, allow me to change it to Canvas. Canvas is the only okay. other one that I'm particularly sure. I'm pretty sure that's closed, but if this is old, it might be a mm. bit of a relic. So wow. I'm still sticking with Lowlands, though, because I think that's okay. where they kind of live for the most part. Well, right, how did I do? How did I do? You guessed it was very old grain whiskey. Okay. That is exactly right. Excellent. This was Excellent. quite remarkable. What we have oh, is pale, it is a 29 year old single grain. From Invergordon. Invergordon. In the Highlands. Ah, Highlands. Yeah. Okay. This is a, another Weems malt. We've had several Weems whiskies so far. This is one they call Strawberry Fondant Icing, which is an apt descriptor. Yeah. So that's, it's that's a, not the mm. absolute first thing I would have called it, but yeah. I can see where they're coming from. This one distilled back in 1988. Boy. That and makes it the oldest whiskey. 29, 29 years old. Yeah. Oh. This is from a Sherry Butt. Bottled at 46%. Don't know what its actual cast strength would be, but not much higher than that, I'd assume. Okay. Yeah, slightly um, slightly mm. less strong than I was thinking. It tasted yeah. a little... I thought it was a little sort of peppier than that, but I it guess has, not. The finish reminds me of some of the... Um, the finish on some of the stronger bourbons, or older bourbons we've tried. It's got a real bit of a... There's a bit of that bourbon character to it. Even yeah, like a, a um, fairly strong, mature uh, Tennessee whiskey. Which is interesting because this has never... Never existed alongside oh. bourbon in any form. It no. has no no bourbon wood. Um, it's the I think this is the first time I've seen grain whiskey come out of sherry wood hmm. at all. It's very rare given the given the rarity of that wood. It's usually hoarded and saved yeah. for um, not just single malt, but um, single malt with its own mm. release or single cask because it's so rare and consequently so valuable these days. Um, I think this is the first time I've or at least mm. picked up on the fact that I'm drinking grain out of a sherry hmm. but yeah oh. I've certainly come across the name of Envy Gordon in the past but yeah. I can't recall ever having anything they've produced in their distillery North British Canvas Cambrig Envy Gordon I completely forgot <laughs> about Envy Gordon um, they're probably I think there's a there's a fifth floating around there somewhere but let us know in the comments if you hmm. can if you can remember it better than I do yeah grain whiskey distilleries I'll admit not um, good at tasting grain, um, but not really good at knowing where it comes from, which is, I only have myself to blame, as I say. There's not many distilleries, it wouldn't take long. Someone has probably written a sort of a, a treatise on the um, different uh, aspects you get from them, but they won't be nearly as uh, distinct as uh, malt whiskies. Um, the, the DNA is just not there, because the spirit they produce is so much more neutral and consequently um, so much more dictated by and the cask. Character. I would just been totally thrown by this. If someone gave this to me blind without telling me what, there were no hints at all, I would have assumed this is a some sort of boutique American whiskey. Yeah, this is, it's that, it's that Russian fudge. It's almost like, like rum and raisin ice cream to a certain extent. There's like a cookies and cream mm. thing going on. It's, and it gets more and more obvious as it gets older. The young young stuff, as the, was it 10 years old that came from North British? I believe so. Yeah, I think it, 10, it was around, it was around 10 anyway. As that yeah, proves, exactly 10. Um, they, they're not born with those characters, mm. but as they age, they get it more and more and more until it's just a steamroller of mm. um, of sort of uh, identifiable yeah. characters because ah, in fact, that was nothing else comes out with that. A Weems expression, that was yeah. Watermelon Wedge, mm. it was a 10-year-old yeah, North yeah. British. Weems got their hands on a, a bunch of grain whiskey mm. at some point. At 29 years old, that's just... A, yeah, that's huge. Well, yeah. you think um, that's... One, that's wonkers old, um, and it is, but you think, wow, that's old, that must have cost the earth. Actually, it doesn't in mm. most cases. A lot of the independently bottled grain whiskey, because it doesn't have the prestige factor and it doesn't have the expense that goes into uh, making it, although once that much time has gone past, that's maybe a bit more... That's maybe a bit beside the point. I think it's mm. largely the largely the prestige factor that it is not single malt. Mm. Um, you can pick that up still for half the price mm. of similarly aged single malt whiskey. Yeah, and that most of the time. I do recall seeing what I think was maybe a thirty-year-old North British in an Adelphi bottle one time. Yeah, and uh, it would have been yeah half the price at mm. least of something um, comparable of malt whiskey and that's just because this is like the it's, it's the the petrol versus the diesel of i guess <laughs> um uh grain spirits there's just one doesn't have the doesn't have the the wow factor doesn't mm. have the it's not as in demand as um 
the Scotch malt whiskey, and it doesn't, you know, it can't do what malt can. It always ages, as far as I'm concerned, in the same direction. It always, it always turns into this eventually, no matter where it seems to come from. Well, there's certainly a level of well factor too, I suppose, just yeah. for a chance to try something so out of the mainstream, so off the beaten track, really. No, we used to hold the whiskey. Oh, uh, they went eight eight eight. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that was. We went up to a great deal yeah, in nineteen eighty one yeah. years ago. Mm. Uh, we getting cooked. We had the we had the war come down by then. You no, know, that's uh, pre Berlin War, which was eighty nine. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, think about think mm. about the world back then. Good yeah. grief, it's a long time ago. Anyway, mm. well, that was a, that was an absolute stunner there, and, and a um, proper wee time capsule. So. I, it's, I'm so I'm so tempted to maybe enjoy the rest of that bottle mm. with an ice cube. It's such a oh, it's such decadent whiskey. Mm. All right. Well, that's um, that was suitably um, suitably uh, bombastic yeah. for the penultimate tasting, uh, but I suspect they've saved the best mm. for last, because why wouldn't you? Going to end it with a bang, yeah. and we will be right back well, tomorrow, Christmas be. Day. I hope everyone's Christmas Day is, mm. um, what do they say? Safe and sane? Um, <laughs> or is that Halloween fireworks? Oh, I don't know. Um, we'll have a quick tot up of our scores for certainly the guessing will. game, and uh, yes. we'll see where we are. And then, yeah, for, for all the marbles, we're going to be doing the, um, I don't know if you call it head-to-head -head or parallel mm. or whatever, but we'll be... Um, Doing, we, none of us will know the last one. Mm. Um, we have to engineer a way yeah. of getting out and pouring it without seeing it. Say. But yeah, um, two blind men in the room, changing light bulb, something. That joke didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> Sergeant, we'll be right back.